dear friends in this case i shall be showing how i used the bx ring in a semi dilated pupil this is my second case in the first case i was not very successful and so i am trying it again in this case having stained the capsule i inject visco the pupil is not very small and i could have done it without the ring but i want to take a try with the ring and at least it would prevent the pupil from further constricting one of the most important prerequisites is to inject obd under the iris all around this will create some space for the ring to be placed under the iris injecting it all around even under the superior iris to the side port this is the bx cartridge i place this go over it and with a 26 gauge forcep I gently glided in the anterior chamber. There it's going in. Take it as far as possible, and then push the trailing part in the AC. observing whether it is adequately placed or not i'm recentering it because it is slightly more to the left but it is still in the ac Almost in the center. Ideally, I should be using the side port, but for the flange at the opposite end, I found the main port more convenient. holding the flange which has got holes place it under the iris ensuring that the notch catches the iris margin the pupil margin and then only the next flange will remain above i've done it the first flange goes in now through the side port i try to hold the third flange and i've placed that on the iris you can see the in between flange above it the eye is a bit decentered and so placing the third flange would not be quite visible but i was more concerned with the surgery and i did not realize that it is not centered well i finally managed to place it 
in its position. Once the eye is centered, you will be able to see it. And I start with the rexus. The rest of the surgery is nothing great. I create a small trench. Although I'll be doing vertical chopping. And then rotate the nucleus. 90 degrees. I'm uh, having a sharp chopper in my hand. The first crack. The second. Third. And now I have uh, four pieces. I change my chopper to a blunt chopper now for emulsification. Use an iris depositor towards the end, and before I take the probe out, inject visco in the AC. Cortex removal is done by bimanual cannula. for the lens this is an I Alcon IQ place disco over the lens the lens is placed in the cartridge with the trailing and the leading haptic both folded over the optic Implantation, the filling haptic and the optic goes in the bag. And the filling haptic is dialed in. For the removal of B hex, hold the ring and dislodge it from under the iris first to bring it completely in the AC. And once in the AC, just pull it out. chamber is washed of the visco and the wounds hydrated and I felt elated having used a wonderful device by Dr. Suvin Bhattacharya. Thank you.